I just got off a Zoom meeting with the eat book producers and they want me to do a challenge which is to master a dish. Oh my goodness! Welcome to another episode of Eat Book Vlogs. Today we're gonna do something very different. So the ebook producers have challenged me to master a dish. And that dish is tamago yaki. Ta tamago tamago yaki. Oh my goodness, I can't even say the dish name properly. How am I gonna cook it? I've mostly been at home. I haven't been going out actually. What I do is really just like Netflix, sleep, and cook. Let me explain to you a little bit about the cooking situation, okay? Ibo invited me to be on this Nook Cooks episode. <laughs> where I attempted a very jialat version of a carbonara. Okay, and, uh, <laughs> it's not carbonara. <laughs> and ever since then, it was also around the time where Circuit Breaker kicked off, uh, I decided that, hey, you know what? I'm very inspired to cook now because of the episode, right? Yeah, and then also ebook has been having a lot of like one pot recipes. And so I've tried to follow those things. Slowly and steadily, I have cooked a lot more at home! But at home is only means I eat myself la, or, or my family members eat and then of course they cannot complain la, because they, 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 are my, they are my fam. Well, I do welcome a challenge, a book. So, um, this came at a very right time. I'm gonna take this challenge up. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna flip some pans and eggs and stuff, but... Tamago yaki is egg, right? Tama, tamago, right? Tamago, the, the, the Japanese egg, right? Let me just buy some eggs first. So let's go! The first recipe I'm gonna attempt is um, something that looks a little bit more followable. Yeah, and also, you know, it says that like, is this by this Tokyo kitchen? <laughs> Sounds legit. And then she said like, how to make tamagoyaki using a square skillet and a round skillet. I do not have a square skillet, so I like that she has included the option of a round skillet. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Japanese Omelette. This is okay. rice oil I'm using today, but you The thing is right, I do not have things like mirin and sake, cooking sake, but I'm gonna leave those out and um, I'm gonna replace dashi stock with chicken stock. The ingredients I need for this recipe is um, milk, pepper, salt, uh, three eggs. I'll just try with a very basic one with just these first. Oh my god, this is disastrous! <laughs> it's so messy, I don't want you to come out! The person made it so easy. Only when it's half done, then we can like fold it up again. Okay, then apparently you have to pull it to the middle again. Oh my god, what's all this? I don't know how come the one I don't have, but mine has. Okay, just try to fold it. <laughs> Goodness, can I flip it over? Okay. And there you go, my first tamagoyaki. <laughs> and it's like, to me now, it just tastes like normal egg, but it's quite interesting, I guess. I mean, this form of egg. But it's a little salty. I might have followed the wrong measurement of salt. It's just half a teaspoon, but I could use less than that. Okay, so I just wanted to have a feel of like, how to flip the things around. But I feel like I went into a lot of trouble and usually people look a lot more graceful doing it lah. Compared to me lah, like I... <laughs> I can't cook. <laughs> I can't cook graceful things. Like if you want me to like fry things and whatever, then yeah sure like... <laughs> I'm not scared. But it's kind of like very hard to like... Mmm, let's hold a nice layer. Oh yeah, you know. And I don't know if this is counted messy. This is the other piece. Oh god, that's even a hollow hole. I think this is edible, but it's not pretty. It looks decent, but it's not what I'm getting at. I want something of a better standard than this, so 
Oh, that wait again. Okay, so since my tamagoyaki failed that day, I'ma try it another time. My goal is to get where the ebook producers want me to get, which is like them pretty tamagoyaki, like can serve in a restaurant kind. Dashi stock replaced with chicken stock, uh, sugar, salt, 70 ml of water, and three eggs. I'm gonna put it on low heat. Just a bit. Crowd it around. A very thin layer of egg. <laughs> it's too thin. Okay, we try that at first. First layer, first layer. I don't even know if I'm up for this. <laughs> Why am I even chosen to do this? Okay, here it is. I'm gonna like let you see the cross section of the tamago yaki. It looks like this. Um, you can't see it exactly, but um, yeah, that's what I came up with in that pen. Mm, not bad. <laughs> Say the truth. Really? <laughs> it's nice. I like it. Okay, like regardless of the looks, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's nice. it tastes not bad. Let me try it myself. Mm. Previous time I tried it, well, it was too salty, man. But then I think this is just nice because I use a mixture of water, water and chicken stock, and then I put only just a pinch of salt. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello again! The previous time, nobody tasted the first one because it was really bad. I was reading through the comments and somebody mentioned that, oh, they learned that um, tapioca flour, if you add it a bit, then it helps the egg to not break as much. So I'm gonna add it a little bit in. And then this is a totally different recipe that doesn't involve any stock, but some milk. So we will see. So the difference is that this lady, what she does is that she will fold the egg. Instead of letting it just like spread around the pan, right? She will fold it into a square. Um, and then she folds it up. So I'm hoping that that would make it easier to fold because I can't freaking fold it. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, now for the cross section. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, it's a bit messy. What? Mm. <laughs> not as nice, um, not as tasty for sure. Okay, I'm so not happy with my results right there. I'm gonna do it again right now. So after my previous attempt, which I tried another recipe with milk involved, I don't really think that's the best. Try your best to find dashi stock. I believe that would give you the best tasting tamagaki. But because I don't have it, I'm still gonna use chicken stock. You need dashi stock, aka chicken stock in my <laughs> recipe. Like soya sauce, sugar, salt. Okay, <gasps> this was not as traumatic as the previous time I did a really thick one with like three eggs. This looks I guess a bit more decent. Can only see it later when I cut it up, but maybe it's practice makes perfect. Yay, I'm done! Okay, I'm gonna like slide it out. Yes! I've plated my tamagoyaki. It's not perfect, but it's my best effort, I would say. So, I don't know if the evil producers will pass this, but like, this is as good as it can get with <laughs> the limited skills I have. Okay, so enjoy it guys! Please try my tamagoyaki and tell me your reviews. Mm. Not bad. This one is the nicer recipe mm. but got sugar. Yeah, it's got milk. So, it tastes the sugar. Is it better? Is it the best? Yeah. Okay. Better than the one I want. The one I want is better than the one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So um, I've actually already tried the like this tamagoyaki thingy 
for about three or four times. Uh, I believe I got somewhere <laughs> using a regular pen, but because I love ebook and I wanna try out to the best I can, I have actually went on to purchase a little square tamagoyaki pen. For all the recipe videos I've seen, right, a lot of them use a square pen to coat instead of a circular pen, and we'll see if it's better. Or not, I don't even know if it can fit my stove eh, because it's so cute and me. Okay, so they, they even have this spatula-ish thingy that is so thin that I believe it can flip the egg a lot better than me using chopstick or a frying wooden thingy. I wanna flip it around. Oh, okay, let me just concentrate. Okay, the last batch of it. I'm gonna finish everything. I think this is quite a decent fit. I think the cross section has a lot more like rolls. Like it's it's almost like a, it almost like rolled bread. Yeah, like the, the chocolate sauce and all that. Yeah, it looks like that. That's like pretty cute. I washed my hands already. It's sort of like thicker because my pen is so small and narrow, right? That it has to form upwards, la, I would say. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm sweating all over. Here's my final product, guys. This is my first ever time trying out a delicate Japanese dish. And you know, before this whole CD period, I don't even cook. So I guess um, this is something. Okay, so that was taste test time. Please take my tamagoyaki and try. There's like a bit of like sweetness and... Yeah, I like the sweet one. Okay. And a bit melty. Oh no. no. Oh, wow, nice. Is it like pass? Pass ah! Yeah, I hey, like hey. Another piece for mom. Try it. Try this. Okay. Good. Huh? Really? I <laughs> feel not too hard. As long as the mom <laughs> says pass means pass. Okay, cause mom's okay. rating is the most texture important. Texture is nice. Like, oh, only texture. How about taste? Taste also good. You like like the a bit sweet one? A bit sweet, a bit salty is still okay. <laughs> yes. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I do think that um, this recipe is one of my favorites because there's a good amount of like soy slash salt and also some sugar. That's good. It's tasty and then because the middle portions, like some of the parts when you roll it up, some parts where it's a bit more runny than the other parts that so there's like a good balance of charred parts and runny parts. I think that's the great part because if you will discount the look of it right, I mean the taste is pretty good I would say. Okay, it's the end of my tamagoyaki challenge. Oh, I'm, I'm saying the word tamagoyaki with so much more naturalness now. I don't know if the producers are happy with the results. I mean like the instructions is to tell me to replicate that thing lah. So I feel like I've done my best. Whether my best is good enough is another thing. What have I learned? I have learned to try and try again in cooking. I think mastering a dish, right, it's not just like a one day thing. It requires practice, experience, and I guess patience. Yeah, like, and, and perseverance lah, for sure. <laughs> perseverance because you can't give up lah, all of us. <laughs> try again. I guess I've realised that cooking is really not easy. I'm just amazed at how people out there can cook so well. Coming from Noob Cooks, right, I really just at the start, you know, like this is this is the iceberg, I'm just here at the tip. Yeah, so I have so much more to learn. Okay, but coming from a noob, man, <laughs> I believe if you are starting out, want to cook more, just try only, just open up a recipe. If you find an article recipe a bit hard to follow, just follow the video ones first and then you will find what kind of style you like and what kind of food you would like to cook more. So just do it, yeah. If Adria can cook, really, if Adria the noob can cook, right? Or can cook something edible, right? You also can lah, really one. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you like this video, you can watch the rest that are hovering around my head. <laughs> and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next time, if they even allow me to cook again. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>